Hey, how's it going? So if you're looking for a good note-taking app or second brain app, here are some of my favorites. So the first one is MeBot, which may sound like a chatbot, but it's actually a great second brain app. With MeBot, you can collect your thoughts, ideas, plans, and uh, life moments in different formats. Whether it's a, a quick note, a voice memory, or saved link, it can handle it. Um, the app then analyzes what you saved and shows the highlights, which are like a, a summary, also the connections between the things you saved before. It's pretty handy and interesting to see the patterns in your thoughts that, that you might have missed. Um, I find this really useful when I quickly want to get the essence of an article or a YouTube video. Being able to see the related items in my library is also really cool. Moreover, you can use it for writing as well. And while writing, you can use the AI chat for research or for finding something relevant from your library. I love when I can do writing and researching all within one place. So this is great. And this AI chat can be used for various purposes brainstorming ideas for work or personal life, um, tracking goals and habits, or even as a, a learning tool. And if you're curious, you can check my full review and uh, try it yourself. All right, now Xtiles is one of the most interesting Note apps I've ever tried. It combines the best features of Notion and Myra and creates a, a vast style and enjoyable digital workspace. This unique blend makes it an ideal tool for people looking to build a customized setup. And also it's one of the most fun and satisfying tools to use. So I'm glad that they're sponsoring this video today. What makes XStyle stand out is how easy it is to create your own workspace. You can start with a blank canvas and uh, shape your workspace by adding nodes and have various widgets, such as clocks and uh, calendars. But you can also add more stuff like a task list, bookmarks, tables, or uh, simply embed things like YouTube videos, Google Sheets, and uh, Pinterest boards. And I love how XStyles turns a daunting task of creating and managing a digital work area into a, a playful and satisfying experience. Um, from a simple thing like your schedule with calendar view and timeline view to a, a more complicated live dashboard, it's a breeze. But if you don't want to spend so much time building a setup, it offers a wide range of templates you can use right away from templates for weekly reviews and creating a second brain to organizing class notes or compiling client lists. It covers various needs so that you can find a starting point for your personal or professional goals. And one of my favorites is this Ultimate ADHD Planner. It comes with a, a daily planner, priority matrix, habit tracker, and even more. Um, it's a, a complete dashboard to organize your life and work, but if you want to modify it, you can remove or add new things easily to make it suit your needs. And every task you create will be added to this unified task list where you can see them all at a glance. Then if you want to build your schedule, simply switch to the calendar view to see what you have planned. And since you can connect it to your Google Calendar, it can show you your events from there as well. And plus, its mobile app is great for checking your notes, tasks, and schedule on the go. I love how quickly you can add tasks and how easy it is to see what you have planned. Overall, XStyles is a, a great platform that provides a canvas and the tools to create your ideal digital setup. If you're curious about what it can do for you, you should give it a try. AI integration is also coming soon and uh, it will be an exciting update. Whether you use it for personal organization or team collaboration, it gives you a, a fun and uh, effective way to manage tasks and uh, projects. So you can check it out from the link in the description. Right now, Beloga is an all-in-one AI personal knowledge management tool. It's one of the best apps I found last year. It's essentially a, a combination of AI search engine bookmark app and uh, note app. Its search capabilities are its strong suit. You can start by pressing S on your keyboard to bring up the uh, search bar. Here you can choose your preferred AI model to use, then search the web, Google Scholar, or even your own data stored in apps like Notion or Google Drive. Then Blogger performs multiple searches and summarizes the best results for you, making it easy to find the information you need. And when you come across useful information, you can save it to your personal library with a quick shift C. This helps you build your knowledge base effortlessly, storing important information for future references. Now for writing and taking notes, you can start by creating a new note. Then on the right side, it lets you search online or search for information from your library. And as you see the results, you can keep on writing or have AI write the first draft for you. If you're in a rush, 
And then currently, it doesn't have a, a mobile app yet, which is the only complaint I have, but I heard that's their priority now, so I'm very excited for it. Now, Heptabase has been my favorite. What's unique about it is how it lets you organize your thoughts visually on a canvas instead of the usual list-based way. It's like creating a map of your mind, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can jot down ideas, make to-do lists, or even save stuff from the web. Then you can head over to the map where you can make as many whiteboards as you want for different projects or topics you're studying. It's very satisfying to watch your map grow over time. Another thing that's great is that you can search online within this app, which makes research a breeze while you're taking notes or making a mind map. Although its AI features are still limited, I'm hoping to see more from it this year. Right now, there's this thing called Generate Insight, which will literally generate um, insight based on your note, but nothing more. They've got a decent mobile app too, so you can access your notes and map wherever you go. Okay, now let's continue on to more visual note apps. The next one is Affine. It's kind of similar to Heptbase, but with more element of Notion, I think. And what's really cool is how we let you work in different ways. You got this thing called page mode, which is great for writing docs, um, making tables and Kanban boards for managing projects and the tasks. And then there's this edge desk mode, um, which is like a, a big digital whiteboard where you can spread out your ideas. Um, I think Affine offers a more um, customizability and uh, ease of use than other visual note apps like Heptabase when it comes to whiteboard. You can draw and there are many different types of shapes, um, mind maps, and stickers which makes it more fun to use this tool. And after organizing your thoughts on the whiteboard, you can switch back to the page mode and start writing your document if you need. Now, they've recently added some AI features. It's similar to Notion AI, where you can highlight the part you need help with and ask AI, or you can even have it generate a mind map and uh, apparently even a presentation. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a mobile app yet, um, which is a huge drawback for me personally. But if you like the idea of Notion with whiteboard, this is a great tool. Okay, another app with a visual approach is Cosmic. It's advertised as a browser, but I think it's a great knowledge management tool. It's like your digital playground where you can keep all your notes and bookmarks in one place. Imagine having an infinite canvas where you can toss all your digital files, notes, and web pages. Um, that's basically cosmic. And one of the coolest things about it is its browser. Well, it's not just for surfing the web. You can actually save stuff right from your browser onto your canvas. You can use this all the time when you are doing research or just stumbling upon uh, interesting articles. It's super satisfying to just drag and drop things you want to keep. And of course, you can make new notes and write things down. And here's where it gets really neat. Cosmic uses AI to help organize your stuff. It automatically analyzes and tags the things you save and write, which is a huge time saver. Sometimes it even finds connections between your ideas that you didn't even realize were there. And uh, if you're into note taking, Cosmic's got you covered there as well. You can search the web, read an article, and take notes all in one place. Plus, it plays nice with other note apps like Notion, so you're not stuck in just one system. It can be a huge help for managing your digital life. It can help you cut down on the endless tabs and uh, messy folders and uh, give you a more visual, intuitive way to work with information. Okay, this is the uh, last visual tool on this list. So Traverse is one of my favorite studying tools. It combines the best parts of mind mapping, flashcards, and linked notes. So you can create whiteboards for different topics or projects. Um, just like other note apps, you take notes and uh, arrange them on the canvas and connect them together if you like. And now here's where it gets really cool. For each note you make, you can easily make flashcards based on them. This is great for when you're studying or trying to remember important info. You can just highlight the text you want to remember and create a flashcard. And once you're done with that, start reviewing them. You can use the uh, mobile app as well. It's not the uh, prettiest looking app, but it does the job. So if you find studying apps like Anki a bit boring and uh, Reminote a little too complicated, Traverse is a great alternative. Now, I've talked about Sena AI uh, quite a few times before because I think it can be one of the 
best note apps. Plus, they've recently launched a new mobile app, which I've been waiting for a long time. What's really neat is that it has this personal AI assistant that actually knows your notes. Um, this means you can search and chat about what you've written and saved, and it will suggest relevant knowledge from your library or generate answers based on your notes. It's kind of similar to uh, MeBot um, and how it works. Also, the way it can generate tags for each node is great because it saves you a lot of time doing that manually. And I also really like how clean and uh, intuitive the UI is, unlike many note apps nowadays. Uh, the new mobile app is good too. It's still in a beta stage, and, uh, but it works really well. You can chat with AI assistant easily, find your notes, see your task list. It's a, a tad slow, but I'm sure it will get better with time. Anyway, it's great to note app, so give it a try. Now, Lazy is all about making note taking super fast and easy. It's only available for Mac, so if you're a Mac user, it's a great note app. If not, feel free to skip this one. What I love about Lazy is how it lets you capture content from pretty much anywhere um, very fast. Whether you're browsing the web, reading an article, or just have a, a random thought, you can quickly save it to Lazy and it's capable of capturing a whole web page and video too. Um, for YouTube videos, it even captures the transcript with timestamps. This smooth web clipping is something I really appreciate. And also, you can chat with AI instantly with a keyboard shortcut. And this is great. You want to get a quick answer to your question. And then if you want to save it as a note, you can do that easily as well. Now, it's not perfect. The mobile app is still a bit limited. It's purely for saving quick notes and tasks now. But other than that, it's a solid note app. Well, you can check my full review if you're interested. Right, Notebook LM is definitely one of the best free note apps now. And I think it's even better than some paid ones out there. But it might not be for everyone. I think it's perfect, especially for students and academics. And unlike other AI note apps, the AI in this one doesn't know anything except for what you give it, which can be PDFs, Google Docs, websites, and uh, YouTube videos. And the AI uses only that information to help you out. And by doing so, it avoids citing information from sources you don't trust. After uploading sources, you can now ask AI to create a brief, a Q&A, a study guide, or simply ask what you want to know. Then if the responses are good, you can save it as a note. But of course, you can create your own notes too, where you can write while reading the document, uh, watching a video, or taking a lecture if you're a student. Oh, and uh, they've got this new audio feature that's pretty cool. <laughs> it can turn your documents into conversations like a, a podcast. All right, deep divers buckle up because today we are going deep on something pretty unexpected. Yeah, this one's pretty wild. We're talking mulberry leaves. You know, like silkworms. Exactly. Yeah. And apparently these leaves could hold some incredible secrets to slowing down aging. It's pretty mind blowing. Slowing down aging. I was really surprised by how well it works and how unnatural it sounds. I've used this to review my notes while I'm doing chores. It's, it's surprisingly helpful to get the general idea of the sources quickly. So now overall, it's amazing this product is free. It's a little bit quirky, but I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, now let's talk about capacities. It's like a mix between Notion and Obsidian. I like how it has the essence of these two and makes it simple enough to use without a, a steep learning curve. What makes it unique is that this app makes it super easy to link and organize information. You can create different objects, which are like flexible categories or folders. Um, I haven't used it for a long time, but here I have objects such as restaurant, places, and people. This way, when you make a new note and uh, specify its object type, it's automatically in its object list. Anyway, one of my favorite things about Capacities is its clean, modern design. Um, you've got your main writing panel in the center, um, pinned notes and the collections on the left, and a graph on the right. I love the graph especially because you get to see the links between notes easily. It's great for all sorts of things, um, planning trips, researching topics, or just keeping your files organized. Um, task management is probably not its strong suit, but it lets you connect to different task apps like to-do list and uh, Google tasks. It's designed to be a calm space for your mind. It's simple enough for everyday use, but powerful enough to handle complex ideas and the projects. I can recommend this app for a lot of people. 
Um, speaking of calm space for your mind, napkin fits the bill perfectly. It's not your average note-taking tool. It's more like a, a digital space for your ideas. It's one of my most favorite apps of all time. It's a great alternative to doom scrolling on X or Instagram. Essentially, you can save your favorite passages from books and articles as well as your own thoughts. And the app's AI analyzes them and uh, links relevant ideas together. And then you can review your ideas however you like, either randomly or by topic. I use napkin for all sorts of things, saving quotes from books, um, you can even scan them with your camera, recording voice notes when I'm on the go, or just typing out random ideas. The app organizes everything so you can see how your thoughts connect. It feels very different from other note apps because it's not just about storing information, it's about helping you reflect on your ideas and uh, spark new ones. It's become my go-to place for capturing those aha moment and uh, watching how they grow and connect over time. Well, check my full review if you're curious. Okay, speaking of my favorite app, Amplinote has been my go-to note-taking slash to-do app. I use it every single day and my life would be a lot more chaotic without it. I talk about this quite often, so I won't go into detail. And um, what really sets it apart for me is how it combines note-taking, task management, and uh, calendar all in one place. It's got this uh, great task management system that helps me prioritize my work without constantly shuffling my to-do list. And the calendar mode is great because I can easily schedule tasks and uh, see my whole day and week at a glance. It strikes the perfect balance between simplicity and uh, functionality. It's super easy to use right out of the box, but it still gives me enough customization options to make it feel like my own without overwhelming me. I have a lot of videos about it, so check them out if you're interested. <laughs> Now, Tooth is another one of the best free note apps. If you like simple apps like Google Keep, this is probably right up your alley. You can do all sorts of things, jot down notes, make a to-do list, um, set reminders, and even keep track of your calendar. It's super simple to use. You just type in whatever's on your mind on the daily note, um, whether it's a memory, a task you need to do, or an event you want to remember. I also really like the AI integration. You can use it to explain things, break down tasks, correct grammar, or really anything you want. And if you're working on a, a bigger project. Tools let you create a list that work like project notes. Um, you can start writing or collecting everything you need for the project in one place. And what's really cool about Tools is how customizable it is. It may appear simple, but when you go into the settings, there are tons of options. It is really one of those apps that make me wonder how they are free. I mean, this is definitely the kind of quality that you'd be willing to pay for. If you're interested, I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, finally, a lot of people swear by Apple Notes and it's not hard to see why. It's secretly becoming one of the best note apps out there, especially with the release of Apple Intelligence. Not only it's lightning fast, but also it has lots of features. One of my favorite new things is the live audio transcription. Now, when I'm in a meeting or lecture, I can record the audio right in my note and it automatically turns it into text. It's super handy for when I want to focus on listening, but still want to have a written record. There are many meeting transcription or sound summary apps, but honestly, this is all you need. And also, I use its document scanner very often. I'm not great at organizing physical documents, um, papers, receipts, and so on. So instead, I scan almost all of them with Apple Notes. This way, I can easily organize them and find them later. And Apple Intelligence has also made writing in Notes way smarter. It can help me refine my writing, which is great for when I'm drafting emails or reports. And if I'm short on time, I can even have it summarize a, a long note for me. It's pretty amazing how Apple has taken a simple note app and uh, made it a much more powerful, all while keeping it easy to use. Honestly, I can easily see myself using it as a daily tool. All right, so if you want to see how I use my note app for organizing my life and work, make sure to check this video out. Um, I hope you found something that's uh, interesting and uh, let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching till the end and see you in the next one. Bye.